All right, here we go. Question number five in our college algebra homework number five in my lab math. Again, this is the third time now. They want us to determine the horizontal asymptote of the graph of this function. And since this is a rational function and they asked me to find the horizontal asymptote, we're going to have to compare the degree of the top to the degree of the bottom. That is the way you determine a horizontal asymptote. So let's look at the three cases again. If the degree of the top is less than the degree of the bottom, then your horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals zero. There's no calculations. It's just y equals zero in this scenario. If the degree of the top is greater than the degree of the bottom, then what that implies is that there is no horizontal asymptote. You just won't have one. And last but not least, if the degree of the top equals the degree of the bottom, that implies that your horizontal asymptote will be y equals a over b, where a is the lead coefficient of the top, which in this case would be 1, and b is the lead coefficient of the bottom, which in this case would also be 1. The lead coefficient is the number in front of the letter with the biggest power. All right, so let's look at which scenario do we have. The degree of the top is 3. This is the degree of the top. The degree of the bottom is 2. The degree is the biggest power on any variable. So in our case, the degree of the top is greater than the degree of the bottom. The degree of the top is greater than the degree of the bottom. So we're going to have no horizontal asymptote. And so we want to pick B. There is no horizontal asymptote. And there you go. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.